Hi FlossTube, it's Lauren McClary, Textilist, and welcome to the 16th day of Vlogmas. We are in the countdown now, less than 10 days until the big day. And um, today, my son did get here safely last night, and today he pulled out several of my big Christmas tubs. So I thought today we'd do a little bit of unboxing and um, looking at some of the ornaments and things as I decide what I'm gonna put out this year on the tree and what I'm not going to. Um, <clears throat> we did decide, uh, like last year we went and cut our own Christmas tree. Um, you can get a permit here for $5 and you can go further up into the mountains. They have designated areas and you can cut your own. And we have pretty much decided we were going to do it, but there's really no snow <laughs> right now. I'm sure there is uh, more snow up further in the mountains, but uh, we decided to check out the new Christmas tree that I just bought this year. It's a seven foot pencil tree. I've been wanting a pencil tree for a long time. Um, I really wanted one to put right here, and that's probably where it will go next year. Um, but we put it up this year. It was one, two, three, click, and plug it in, and it was ready to go, other than the fluffing, of course. Um, that took um, maybe 20 minutes. It wasn't very long. It's a very skinny tree. It's a pencil tree, but it's really pretty, and uh, we're going to decorate it tonight while we watch Scrooge, and um, we're going to have a nice time doing that. So before I get started and unpacking a couple of the boxes, I wanted to share some happy mail that I received today from my sweet friend, Sally, the humble bumble stitcher. She contacted me earlier and asked if she could send me something. And there was no way I was gonna say no to that. <laughs> um, Sally, what you sent is just beautiful. And um, I am so thrilled to be the recipient of your generosity and kindness. So here is the first thing. So it's this beautiful vintage looking uh, strawberry Santa. I just love how she put it together. That Santa is so sweet. The little cardinal and vintage decoration on top. I love, love, love this. And immediately hung it on one of my trees back here that has a lot of my cross stitch. Um, type of ornaments on it and then she also sent this hand-painted pull toy and oh man look at this is that not beautiful it's got a little pull it's got a rusty jingle bell on it and it is just lovely it's just lovely I also tucked that into the tree it is so beautiful thank you so much Sally and then of course Santa has to have a stocking to fill. So this came as well with the Santa and the strawberry. And I just love them. I'll show you the other side of the strawberry. It's got little berries stitched around. So again, thank you so much, Sally. Um, I just love them. I will treasure them forever. And um, it's so wonderful to have something that you can pull out every year and think of your friends. Um, let's see. So we were on the hunt. Um, I had already brought in maybe six of my tubs to start pulling things out for decorating and I couldn't find the stockings. And so that's really important. We're gonna do our presents tomorrow with my son. Um, so we absolutely had to have the stockings. So I went poking around and there were two more tubs that were on the bottom of one shelf that I didn't think had any Christmas. So I did find them, thank goodness. Um, so these are stockings that I made, um, let me think, probably the year my son was born. So back in the 90s. And I made one for everyone in the family. And because I'm a quilter, remember I didn't start cross stitching until about five years ago. These are quilted. These actually started out as a panel and then I heavily decorated them. So this is my son's. And I did this all by hand. I hand stitched, I hand applique, if there was applique on it. This one's mostly I hand stitched. Did the, see how I did the outline? 
And then with my sewing machine, I have an embroidery machine. I embroidered names and I put on doodads. And these are fully lined, fully quilted stockings. So he has a Santa stocking. And then my daughter has an angel stocking. Oh, and these, um, years ago, somebody gave me this cute little plaque that had all of our names on it and little, um, what are they? They are mittens. So those hang off of the stockings as well. I don't see where Merrick's is. It must have fallen off somewhere. So this is my daughter's. Hers is an angel. And the same thing, all hand quilted. I put a little um, lace heart on hers and put buttons, things like that, just to, you know, decorate it up. So this is my daughter's and the, they used to sit, you know, facing each other. Uh, this one's mine. It's also an angel. And I found these really cute um, tree buttons. And then it kind of worked out where the cardinal ended up, although it's behind us sitting on the tree. And it has the birdhouses. And again, it's all quilted. So those are our stockings. Let's see what else is in this tub. Oh, this is a um, pillow, a small pillow. These are called Chandler Four Corners. So my pillows on the couch here, these are hand hooked Australian wool pillows. I mean, they have, I have several things. I have a bench, I have the pillows, and I have this little pillow. So that was in there. Um, this is something I bought at a, at the craft mall that I used to work and vend at. And it kind of gets a little squished when I put it in there, but it's a wire angel. And that's kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can put something. Will that help? That helped a little bit. So this is just a really cute wire angel with some, you know, pip berries and little rusty stars and that sort of thing. And the nice thing about this is I can squish it flat and then I can kind of come in when I unpack it and get all the fuzz off of it, but uh, make it 3D again and then hang it. It's really cute. It, it goes in many different places. Uh, let's see what else do we have in here? Oh, remember when I was talking about the other party slash catalog thing that we did? Well, one of my viewers reminded me what the name of it was, and it was called Christmas Around the World. And this was a purchase from Christmas Around the World. And one of the favorite things that I love to hang out or hang up, um, during the holiday season. I want to have a Noel tree. Um, there's tons of cr little cross stitch smalls and lots of freebies as well that say Noel. And I, I have this plan, I have a lot of them stashed away that I'm gonna stitch a bunch of ones that say Noel and have a little tiny Noel tree. So this is coming out to get hung up. And I'm gonna pause here because I need to put a log on the, oops, sorry. <laughs> I need to put a log on the fire. Okay, I'm back. Um, the next thing that I'm pulling out, remember the Bears are that I told you about? I bought this one year at the Bears are and I just love it. Um, it's probably gonna go out on my counter this year, but I'm not sure. And it's this bear. <laughs> Uh, so I think it was originally a paper mache bear and the person who crafted this made a little, um, what did they call that? Like a pack saddle, um, with little twigs of greenery in it. And I just, I love this decoration. It's one of my favorites. So happy to get that out. What else do I have in here? Oh, Here's another treasure. So this um, tree topper was on my tree every year from the earliest I can remember. And even from pictures, I can tell it was the tree topper that was used 
um, from when I was a baby and way up into, I don't know, I think, I think we would have it on the tree probably up until I was in grade school when some of the, the plug-in lighted Christmas tree toppers came out and my mom went and got this. And one year I asked her if I could have this and she said, why do you want that? It was just a dime store tree topper. Well, this is why I wanted it. Um, so I still have the box. The box is not in great shape, but um, it goes in the box and it's an angel made out of what they called angel hair, which is fiberglass and it's cardboard but I love this little girl. I love this little angel. So it's stayed with me. It's just about as old as I am, maybe a little bit older. And it's my favorite tree topper. And it goes on one, one of the trees, whatever tree that I put out, it usually comes out. So I'm trying to think if there's a way I can resurrect this. I mean, the, the cellophane and everything is still intact. You can just see by you know, the discoloring, the age of the box. But I definitely want to keep that. And let's see, this was made from the National Tinsel Manufacturing Company in Minnetonic, Wisconsin. I probably mispronounced that. I'm not sure if it will go on the big tree this year. It might go on something else. Let's see, what else do we have in the box? Oh, I have three of these and they're all a little bit different. Here's one of them. And these are rag gar garlands. So basically they're um, either a wire or a heavy string and you just tear strips of fabric and you string whatever you want on them. This one happens to have bells and they're a good length. They're maybe, maybe a little over a yard a yard long. I used to have these across my cupboards in my kitchen every year because uh, I had, what do they call it? A, whatever the space is above the covers, I had space so that I could hang those. So that was one that I had. And here is another. I really like this one, except that I have to be careful when I'm storing it because the snowmen little noses like to pop off. So this one, similar um, thing. There's got the rag and this one definitely is a wire because you can bend it. And it has these three adorable little snowmen and snowflakes on the wire. And so far, all of their noses are still on there. I've had to, uh, oops, do repairs. <laughs> I'll have to repair that and hook that. Oh, that looks like it just needs to hook back in there um the wire so let's see and then the third one I have to move some things here here's the third one um again the colors that i really like the dark cranberry uh, dark reds dark greens and this one just has uh rusty um stars on it and they just you need to fluff them up um you know, they've been packed away. Generally, I take like a blow dryer and put it on cool and just blow the the fabric and that kind of fluffs it up, relaxes it a little bit. Um, if you've ever made a rag wreath, I used to make, uh, I've made hundreds of them, it feels like. I know I've made well over a hundred. Um, but if you ever have a, a rag wreath, you know, where you take the, the four or five inch squares and you poke them into a um, a straw wreath and they, they're all fluffed out. They're really pretty. Um, and if it gets all squishy, just take a, a blow dryer on low. You can do warm, but not real warm and it will fluff them out. Okay. What else is in here? Um, some old crocheted or knitted. I'm not sure which from, um, my old roommate. She gave me these one year for Christmas and oh this little guy he's so cute uh he also came from the craft fair or the craft mall that i used to vend at and little santa he's adorable um let's see i've got a jingle bell here that fell off of something 
There's always repairs to be made after you pull out things from the previous year. This is a um, ball that I would hang in lieu of mistletoe over my front door every year. It's looking a little bit misshapen. I might have to do some repair work on it too. Uh, it looks like a lot of the petals of the flowers have gotten a little, little rumpled. Look at that poor thing, it's squished. And that's pretty much um, everything to show you. Oh, no, there's a couple more. This. So I have a lot of little things like this and have this beautiful reindeer. Um, I think that's, that's about it for that tub. So I'm gonna put everything back in there and make some repairs. Use the jingle dangles. And let's see, we've got another tub over here. I'm gonna pause it because I need to move some things around. Okay, this one is a mixture of bought things and handmade things. I picked this up, I think last year at the dollar spot, intending to stuff it with greenery. Uh, I think that's pretty darn cute. Um, and they also had little ones and I haven't really figured out what I'm gonna use them for, but I know I will figure out things. So those came from the dollar spot last year. Um, this sweet little ornament was from my friend Kate. Kate is um, Oh gosh, how can I, how can I have forgotten that? It's something paints a plenty. Is it Kate paints a plenty? I don't remember. Uh, anyway, she made these. We we went to a um, a girls' weekend, and she had these out for everyone. And these are made from her Lincoln sheep. They're just adorable. I love this little guy. He's so cute. I like the gnomes and the elves. Uh, let's see, lots more um, store-bought stuff. This is another little gnome that, um, I don't, did I buy this one or make this one? This is a pattern that you can get from the stitching post. Um, and basically, I think the pattern has enough to make three or something like this. And these go over the top of a wine bottle. I have him usually on top of something else, but I just thought he was really cute. Uh, let's see what else do we have in here. Oh, I've got this beautiful, I don't remember where I got this. I'm pretty certain I got it on a travel uh, to a cross stitch. And it's made out of beautiful paper and has a lot of glitter on it. Isn't he lovely? That little snowman cone. Um, oh, here's another garland that I really like. Um, I think I have more than one piece of it, but here's a piece of it. And it's made out of yo-yos and it's strung on just some cording. And these are beautiful to put on a tree. So if you have scraps, I'd say that these were probably um, maybe maybe four, three inch, four inch, three and a half inch circles that you make into the yo-yo and then you just stitch them together on a string or just stitch them together. I don't think you have to put them on a string. Um, here is one of my, I think that there's a gem shore in here. So I have a very large collection of Jim Shore that has not seen the light of day for about four, maybe five Christmases, four Christmases, because I haven't been able to, I don't have the, the surface space here in this house that I had in my other house. Um, yes, these are Jim Shore. Uh, these are tiny, the ones I have are the big Santas like this. These are actual tiny ornaments and it looks like it's the nativity so mary baby 
and much this must be Joseph. Is there anything else in there? Nope. So I have those. Someday I'll bring out all of the gym shore. When I get my big studio set up, I'm hoping to put all of the snowmen and the Santas that I have um, across the top of like um, whatever I'm storing my fabric or, um, on. And let's see, what's this one? Um, I'm trying to pull out things that are interesting. I have, you know, decoration stuff that I will pull out. And I have a lot of tissue paper here, so there must be something fragile. Let's see. Anytime I find sleds, um, I like to pick these up for decorations. Uh, this came from Habitat for Humanity. I paid a whopping dollar for it. And um, I think I have a set of three of these ornaments. I think they're adorable. Letters to Santa. And you can put like little gift, gift card things in there. What else do I have in here? Oh, I bought this at... Um, the last office I worked in, we had a craft bazaar. So people who like to do craft items, they would bring them and then part of the proceeds would go to like adopt a family. And there was one very talented lady that I worked with and I bought this from her. I think that's really pretty. And there's more in here, but I don't know. Then I'm going to pull it all out because some of this I have to be real careful with. Oh, I will pull this out. Um, and you have to be careful. So this is a garland, another garland. And it's made out of pine cones and cinnamon sticks and twigs. This is handmade. And uh, it's, it's lovely. It's very cute. I believe it's handmade. I don't think they would put something this fragile together. Um, and where did I buy that at? I bought that at Habitat for Humanity. So somebody made this and then gave it up. Their loss, my gain. And let's see, anything else in here to show? Oh yes, this little guy, he is very cute. Who sent this to me? It's so stitchy. I know who sent this to me. My friend Kathy um, made this and sent this to me. And I think she sent this to me when I was recovering. It was right after chemo. And I think that's when she sent that. And isn't that beautiful? I love that. So that's that's all I'm going to pull out today. I have more stuff, but I kind of have to dig through everything. Um, so as I mentioned, we're going to decorate the tree tonight. We're going to watch Scrooge. We're probably going to watch an episode or two of The Last Kingdom. We like to watch long series when we hang out together. We watch, you know, two or three episodes a night of something so this time it's the last kingdom if you've not watched it i highly recommend it if you don't mind you know the the gore <laughs> and the blood of uh, medieval fighting um but it's a series a netflix series and i really liked it i like the historical aspect of it. of course it doesn't necessarily follow the the true storyline but it is um the time before King Edward and King Edward the first and then after him and King Edward was well King Edward the second his son was the first son that ruled over a united England which is why they call it the last kingdom and the last kingdom was Wessex um and there's a lot of fighting with the Danes and the Irish and the North um, not the Northumbrian the um uh, the Welsh, etc. So thank you for joining me today as I start digging through um, a lot of my 
decorations and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. Happy holidays.